Okay, now we are looking from the viewpoint of the audience, and the audience is on these orange ray seats. You can see this is the various members of the audience. They come from all walks of life. We are approaching the hive. The hive is the Asian city. And as a hive, it has many layers in a hive. So just like a city has many layers, on the outer layer we have the more friendly neighborhoods. And here we have the more family-friendly, radio-friendly kind of music. And the various art performers that will be performing it will be in front of these two panels. These are panels, like wooden panels, that are used in stage plays or dramas. And after the first segment, where they have finished, we will move these panels apart. The dancer is the character that we are following through the city. And the dancer is basically exploring the city. She comes in to the friendly neighborhood first. And she watches and to some extent dances around the friendly music and the friendly performers. But then she decides to go deeper into the city. At which point, we separate the panels. And these performers move away. And now we have the inner part of the city. So in the inner part of the city, it's more chaotic. And here is where the more chaotic artists are going to be. More chaotic performers. We'll be putting the more chaotic music. She may, for example, come across a cafe or a restaurant in the in the more chaotic part of town. And that's where she will sit in and that's where we have culinary delights. The performance art piece. So as you can see, the panels that we moved away just now were a lighter colour. And we are going to do something like that so that the first layer is a friendly, more friendly panel. But when we come into this dark area, the it's a darker area, right? So these panels have to be done in a darker colour. Um, with darker, you, you can put, this time maybe you put graffiti on it to look more uh, evil. Now, you notice that these guys are on a ray stage and there are little ray stages like about one foot high octopus stages that we can put them on. So we can see the audience are going in but they're also going up. Then, when we reach, after we have the chaotic parts and the cafe um, scene, then she goes, and the dancer goes deeper in. Deeper in. So she's going deeper into the city and now she's come right into the inner core of the city and as with every core of a, a hive what you have in the hive is the queen bee and so the queen bee is inside here who is another dancer and here the new dancer faces the existing queen bee and there is a struggle that represents the how the young Asian city is actually in conflict with the traditional um, Asian city. So there becomes a dance battle here in the center. By the way, this back part is the backdrop. So this is on a higher level. We can choose to put either the musicians or the dancers on this higher platform. The platform is usually about one meter high. These are the portable platforms that we used before. So this is where the battle of the Queen Bees is going to take place. The music will be quite aggressive. And then we will have our finale. During the finale part, um, while the queen bees are battling, all the other musicians get back onto stage because the instruments are still there. And we do the finale piece with everybody performing a composite piece which has elements of everybody's piece in it. That is the grand finale. And that um, we will then reach the conclusion where who is the one that wins which queen bee actually wins and takes over the hive, symbolic of how our Asian cities are facing that inner conflict between the generations. Okay, that's it.